Yeah. Here's Martin. So actually, okay. if you look at the bow that he's holding there in his hand, I mean, that is a, um, you know, like a bare bow specifically designed handle. Okay, fantastic. And you can see that integrated weight. We'll get another shot of it later, just below his hand. Yeah, so the uh, Michael Fisher of Australia is the number 11 seed from the qualifying, so he really has done amazing to, to make his way here into the last four. I mean, Oxen being the number eight seed, so this could be a good match. It's experience by the sound of it goes to Oxen, but no such thing as a sure thing, particularly in this no, four absolutely. targets. Well, I think we're going to see some great shooting from these guys. Fantastic. Uh, and it couldn't be a better setting for it. Crowds really built up again this afternoon. Big Swedish contingent, as you can see there. So, yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, a great match from both. Okay, two minutes, three arrows, starting off on the 40 centimetre face at 20 metres. Slight incline. Nice settling target for these guys. Yeah, um, you can see Otterson's bow looks very thought out and it's quite space age. Okay, so Otterson is on the left face here. Fisher on the right, so one point lead. Otterson. Long hold here from Watson. Very long. No. Nope. Yeah, he was taking his time there yep. and obviously decided that he wasn't happy with that. No. Nope. I, was, I was trying to see if he was waving around. I couldn't tell whether it was the, the leaves on the tree behind that were moving or whether it was the point of his arrow. But yeah. he decided uh, better of it and come down and wait and have another go. Ah, uh, six. That was worth coming oh down, six. isn't it, when you come back like that? Worth waiting for. Yeah, it's those arrows when you you're up at full draw and there's no pressure on your time and you do I come down? Then I come down. Shall I shoot it? Shall I shoot it? And nine out of ten times you should have come down. <laughs> A good tucking shot there, Fisher. So he opens his account for the twelve, which is steady. Ah, uh, three. Uh, I just caught the sight of Martin throwing his arm there a bit. Mm. I guess he either wasn't quite aiming where he wanted to or perhaps he let go of it before he's ready and just tried to save it. Yeah, he looks a little bit like... Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a chat with the coach. It's, um, again, in, in field, coaches aren't really allowed or involved until the very latter stages you are out there on your own all week just in your group people aren't allowed on of course you're not really allowed contact with with the coaching and support staff so it's a bit different from when when archers are in the target scene but then you know you get people come around at this stage to just stand there and be with you it, you know but the field archers are very independent they don't really need yeah yeah it can be uh, it could be quite a long lonely day yeah you're out there on your own you've got to figure out well, on the first day of qualification, when it's unmarked, you've got to work out what the distance is to the target. Nobody's going to help you. Nobody's no. going to tell you. And of course, if there are people about, then you know the word could spread as, as to what size the face mm. is and how far it is and what angle and so on. So, um, yeah, generally um, you're out there just on your own. So here we go. The big 40 meter shot now. 60 centimeter face. So three apiece is that yeah both archers get a three hots and low fisher out to the left the uh, it's a big big cut they're going to be allowing for with, with barebow how do they allow for the cut Cause obviously they can't do they have to learn to aim differently for it well you know i don't really know john yeah oh great, great shot. i know that's a great shot yeah I mean, they can either adjust the fingers on the string, so instead of shooting at 45 metres, they might be shooting at, well, I don't know, let's say 42, yep. 41. 
or maybe they choose to aim low on the target. Yeah, yeah I suppose they just they, they, they'll experiment if they're highly experienced and know what works. Oh wow, another good shot. Yeah, that's a really strong 14 there from Otterson. I suspect in the bear bow division, you, you've probably got archers that choose to do do it one way, and then maybe some choose to do it differently. With the recurve and the compounds where they got sights, then mm. well, you you'd move the sight and you'd aim at the middle. Yeah. Well, that was a very quick shot there. I would have said uh, 10 wasn't bad, but 14 from Otterson there. He's opened himself up. A five point lead now. That's quite. Again, useful lead That's halfway. Good. Halfway, yeah. 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 That was some. And that puts the pressure on the opponent then. I yes. Mean, you'd be feeling confident that you've almost got one arrow spare. Yeah. And in Bebo, that's probably quite a nice um, gap to have that, that in hand now because things can happen, as we've seen already today. Well, again, in the last match, we saw the, the lead switch from one target to the next. Yeah. Yeah. So, Michael Fisher, Martin Otson fighting out now for a bronze medal here at the 2016 World Archery Championships in Kilridery House in Bray Island fantastic day for archery fantastic course and uh, so far seeing a really high standard all week highest numbers ever for a world field archery championships people keep saying I haven't actually got that proof but yeah I don't know the exact number John I, I think I heard something like 318 yeah. but certainly over 300 yeah yeah we had th yeah, three courses which is standard isn't it but there were waiting groups on every course and People keep saying they can't remember that. So, good shot. Could be a five. I'm not sure. Maybe a four. That's a four Definitely on the bottom four. face. Yeah. To work out who's shooting which face in order today. <laughs> yeah. So years and years ago, we used to have to shoot the faces, top, middle, and bottom in order. Yeah. Uh, then they changed the rule well, many years ago now, so the archer can choose which face to shoot at. So it makes our life a bit difficult because we don't know which arrow is going to yep, go in which that's face. The top face, that's the middle. That's a five for Austin and a four for Fisher again. So Fisher, he's shooting great, but he just can't. Um, he doesn't seem to be anything back. That's the thing he needs. He needs a really good six, and I hope that Austin doesn't match it. So another four. It's a steady 12 target there from Fisher, but Otson, he's got two fours at least, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that his other arrow is a five. Yeah, Mick could have done to have picked up some in the gold then. Yeah. Very, um, oh, that's a six. Contrasting yeah. styles here between the two. Fisher really gets on with it. There's no faff going on. He comes up, he makes his shot, really great. But Arson seems a lot more um, clinical. Yeah, he's, he's, he's holding, he's not holding it. He's doing, you know. He's taking his time being yeah. really precise. And I mean, yes. this, it is one of the differences you'll probably pick up on. You'll be able to see between some of the archers and some of the bear bows. They'll really just stand there rock steady holding it on the middle until they're 100% perfect, ready to go. Yeah, yeah. so there's Otterson's score just coming confirmed. You can see it's now a nine point lead. He got his five to 15, which is a very steady target there for Otterson. I don't want to jinx Martin here, but you think it's in the bag, but... Yeah, he's gonna have to. It's the big one. It is the big one, but I think he showed on the on the uh, 40 uphill he's got the skill to um, cope with this third shot, this fourth shot now. Yeah, he's got a huge amount yeah. of experience, Martin. Yeah, I don't think it's going to phase him. I think he's comfortable out there. Yeah. He shot for medals before, as, as you've said. Oh, there we go. Here goes the digging. Yeah, <laughs> that's some of the grass gone. Yeah. On the, what did you describe their lawns as earlier? <laughs> well, uh, I thought they were perfectly manicured. Yeah. At least they were this morning yeah, before yeah. this started. <laughs> all, this, all the size 12 start getting booted into them. Yeah, he obviously wasn't happy. Just a 
Yeah. Bit of a lump in the, the grass. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a great first shot there from uh, Fisher. Oh, a lovely well. five. I mean, that's what he's got to do. He's yeah. got to turn up the pressure. Yeah. This is a great view now of the targets. You can see here they're shooting at number four, which is on the, on the top right of the screen. Just in the shadow. Yeah, just above the clock. So you're shooting from light to dark. Now, there's another... We were talking about the sun earlier, but now light to dark gets a whole another ball game, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I mean, all, all of these different conditions, light to dark, dark to light. Two, that's not good enough. Yeah. You can have the, the sun coming through the leaves and you get a, a kind of dappled effect on the target, and that's, that's really difficult to aim at. Yeah, so long hold again here from Watson. Well Didn't he look looked over a bit happy. surprised he there. Wasn't happy with that, so maybe he is just... Maybe there's glint on his point here and dark up there and not quite happy with it. Yeah, there was yeah. definitely a look of surprise on his face so when that went. He, that's not what he yeah. wanted. No, if Fisher had got another five, he could have made some inroads. And a low two again, so that's yeah. a nine from Fisher and a better arrow there from Otterson. I think he's uh, already, yeah, Otterson has yeah. already won. So he's got an arrow here just to show off and enjoy his bronze medal. Very precise. Oh, again, oh he didn't no, look happy he with that. Happy with it? No, he really. Considering that wasn't a precious shot, he was not happy with that. So, this the long sixty has really been um, troubling the.